in this lecture we will discuss the macroscopic and microscopic approaches in thermodynamics and how can we uh, correlate these approaches in food technology thermodynamics is the study of energy and it is transformation to some other form energy transfer is everywhere in varying levels for example your laptop the electric energy is you know used your cell phone uses uh, energy car train coffee mug printer scanner lot of examples are there so the macroscopic forms of energy are those a system possesses as a whole with respect to some outside reference frame such as kinetic and potential energies say for example if there is a car which is moving on a slope You know, while moving the slope, the there is the interaction of energies. You know, the potential energy of this car is increasing, and uh, the kinetic energy of this car is decreasing. And this whole thing has been observed from a distance by someone. So when a body is moving as a whole and its energy is transforming from one form to another form and we can watch it from uh, outside reference frame at that time we can say that this is macroscopic approach the microscopic forms of energy are those related to the molecular structure of a system and uh, the degree of molecular activity uh, uh, for example let's take an example of a system uh, say a bread which is packed huh? uh, and let's consider this as a system this bread is made up of uh, carbohydrates uh, protein fat right so these uh, molecules they are made up of the atoms and the molecules they are bound uh, they are they are bind to each other through the chemical bonds chemical bonds those bonds can be you know the hydrogen bonds coolant bonds van der waal bonds whatever it is yeah? so um, you have packed this uh, you know bread and you have placed this bread on a shelf and uh, you know uh, you're watching this bread okay so you're watching this bread from a distance this bread is not moving from one place to another by its own right but after some days you 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 find that this bread spoils how is that possible this bread spoiled because there is you know transformation of energy right within the system so the, here uh, the, as, as a whole bread has not moved right but still there occurred a lot of changes in spread right and uh, uh, these these changes were actually these changes were actually independent of uh, the uh, you know outside reference frame that's very important to know these changes were independent of the outside reference frame you have you are watching this the bread is not moving there is no visible conversion of energies 
but uh, something happened internally uh, which has not changed with the reference frame and the bird has spoiled right so uh, this type of uh, you know transfer of energy is you know known as the microscope microscopic uh, form of uh, energy distinction should be made between the macroscopic kinetic energy of an object as a whole and the microscopic kinetic energies of its molecules that constitute the sensible internal energy of the object for example let's consider a stagnant water so this water is having you know internal energy which i discussed with you in previous slide which is known as the internal energy right internal energy ei right so this uh, internal energy can be you know uh, the kinetic energy kinetic energy it can be the potential energy right it can be the chemical energy right so this water is having say say for example this water is having some uh, you know kinetic energy some molecules are in motion they are moving some are moving towards west some are moving towards north some are moving towards south right so now you uh, if you if you, uh, you know put uh, if you put uh, a turbine in it right if you if you put a turbine in it so you uh, you you will not expect this turbine to you know rotate why because uh, you know the 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 kinetic energy present uh, in the water molecules is uh, you know is uh, disorganized it is highly disorganized right now if you are going to you know uh, you know open this water from the bottom of one side you know the water will try to move out from this opening right so again it will be a kinetic energy right now uh, we can see it, it it moves water moves now with the reference frame right we can see that there is a conversion of energy right uh, something has something is moving so kinetic energy is increasing right so when something is moving uh, we say uh, it is macroscopic approach right so in 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 this form it was microscopic was microscopic right now the water is moving because we have allowed it to uh, you know move uh, from the bottom side right and uh, you know kinetic energy uh, we, we observe uh, that there is, there is an increase in kinetic energy because we we can see it with our eyes water is moving uh, and there is a particular direction there is one direction right what is moving towards one direction now if you put a turbine right if you put a turbine uh, in the uh, in its way right so what do we expect now the, the this turbine will now it will uh, it will it will get rotated by uh, with the help of this uh, water right because this water is having the kinetic energy it will you know push the uh, the blades of the turbine and it will rotate this turbine right why because uh, the energy here is organized here the energy is organized right that is what i want to explain in this slide that uh, a distinction should be made between the macroscopic kinetic energy which is this right uh, and the microscopic kinetic energy which which was uh, the the haphazard kinetic energies of the molecules 
this is the difference you can differentiate these two uh, kinetic energies uh, one one kinetic energy is present in uh, the microscopic uh, form and another kinetic energy is present as a macroscopic form so uh, you can differentiate both of, uh, both of them in the slide now let's take an example of the macroscopic uh, thermodynamics in food science and let's take an example of pasteurization pasteurization of milk you will see how you know there is a transfer uh, transfer uh, form of energy first the milk is stored in a tank right this is a tank and uh, here milk is having the potential energy and uh, kinetic energy is kinetic energy is equal to zero right and when we uh, you know begin the pasteurization we allow this milk to pass and with the help of the gravity the milk moves down uh, through these pipes right here the kinetic energy is now increasing right and uh, while uh, this uh, uh, with the help of the gravity uh, this milk uh, moves uh, and uh, it passes through a, a unit operation which is known as plate heat exchanger plate heat exchanger right so uh, basically we want to heat this milk uh, to eliminate the pathogens which are which are disease causing uh, you know microbes present in the milk so it is a safety procedure to uh, to make milk uh, you know safe for consumption so here we uh, uh, it is visible that there is a transformation of energy you know from potential energy potential energy was high at initial and the kinetic energy was very low and then uh, there is interaction of energy potential energy is now getting converted into kinetic energy it is it is increasing and uh, when the milk uh, you know uh, passed through the pellet heat exchanger here it interacts with the heat and it is temperature is increasing right here it is it is also uh, you know uh, visible right so now, now uh, from the other side of the pellet heat exchanger the heated heated uh, milk comes out heated milk comes out right so uh, this this is the best example to uh, understand the macroscopic uh, approach in food science right so uh, basically uh, with uh, uh, with time uh, with, with the reference frame uh, there is there is a transformation of energies from potential to kinetic and from kinetic uh, it also uh, interacts with the heat energy uh, so it, these these all interactions are visible so we categorize uh, these uh, you know energies under the macroscopic uh, you know thermodynamics now let's take an example of microscopic thermodynamics uh, in food science and let's take an example of uh, you know the uh, protein sugar interaction protein sugar interaction so uh, when we uh, you know put the dough in an own you know we put a dough in an own and uh, this mass actually we want to cook the food say it is a bread right so basically we want to cook it uh, and uh, you can see this own is having the you know heat energy right this own supplies heat right and this heat energy is uh, you know transferred to the bread bread absorbs this energy right so the the temperature of the bread rises it is increasing so with the increase in the temperature of the bread the molecules present in the bread say the proteins and the sugars right uh, they interact with each other and uh, uh, the, the, there is the, there is uh, you know uh, there occurs a reaction which is known as Millard reaction. 
Millard reaction, right? Uh, the beautiful color which you uh, you know see on the bread, which is a you know golden brown color, it is basically the Millard's reaction. Uh, so this beautiful reaction, you know, um, causes beautiful color, which we like, right? Uh, which increases the appealing of the bread. Uh, this occurs because of uh, the chemical energy present uh, in the molecules of the bread, and uh, with the and 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 this this transformation of energy uh, from heat to the chemical reaction, you know, uh, the, the, these transformations were independent of the reference frame. You know, the bread is still in the oven. Initially, it, when it was raw, it was in oven. And after cooking, after developing beautiful color, it's still in own. So this is uh, the best example of the microscopic thermodynamics. Uh, hope you understood uh, uh, this. Thank you for watching.